What's up? So if you follow me on my Instagram, you would have seen earlier today that I said that I was going to post a little video kind of explaining some shit on why I haven't posted a lot lately. And here's that video. So the reason I haven't been posting a lot lately is I've been busy. I've been pretty busy. I got married back in May, May 25th. It was an awesome day. Here's a couple pictures of it. So basically, I had to take a break for a minute. I had to get away from the world of competition and trying to be the best and trying to get my career started, fan base and all this, blah, 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 blah. This crazy dream of being a musician and making money off of it to kind of take a step back for a minute, enjoy life, enjoy being with my wife and just enjoy the small things, I guess you could say. I hadn't done that in years. I hadn't taken time out for myself away from working on a craft, anything like that, to actually sit down, work on a relationship, let the relationship develop and turn into something beautiful. I am probably at the best position I ever have been in my life. I got away from so much toxic stuff not in relationships even, but just friendships and acquaintances and people and what I was surrounding myself with. Another reason that you haven't seen me post any music is I haven't felt good in putting any music out that reflects where I'm at in life now. I'm not comfortable with releasing music that reflects on my old self. I am about to start posting music again. I've worked very hard in changing my life for the better and I hope that whenever people hear the music, I hope that they can hear the, the physical and mental changes I've made in that music, just in the, the beat, in the, the happiness of the lyrics and different subject matters other than some bitch that broke your heart when you were 19. I hate to say it, but a lot of the lyrics and a lot of the music that I posted in the past has surrounded that one subject. Even though mentally I had been done with it for a while, it seemed like that's what I was getting the most feedback on and that I hated that. So many people loved Heartbreak Tonto. And it brought me down because it felt like every time I wanted to try something new and I would play it for people before it would get released, they'd be like, this doesn't sound like you. This doesn't sound like you're hurt. This doesn't sound like you got Dover. And I didn't like how I got, I, I trapped myself in this cage of bull surrounding a breakup that happened years ago and another one, another one with the same person that shouldn't have happened in the first place. I say all that to say, I hope people stick around for this. Another thing, have you got your ticket to Broke Boy Fest yet? If you haven't got your ticket to Broke Boy Fest yet, here's three reasons why you should stop what you're doing and go get your ticket. Reason number one, it's in Abilene and it's $5. You can't take a break from your daily Starbucks to come watch some underground artists put on an amazing show for you. Reason number two, it's for suicide prevention. Seriously, half of everything that goes on through the night, money-wise, is donated to suicide prevention. That means right out the gate, without you buying merch or anything else while you're there, $2.50 goes to suicide prevention. Now that's pretty cool. Third reason, man, your boy's gonna be there and I'm second to last up. I'm gonna be on stage for almost an hour playing new music, playing old music, and playing some remixes that I've been working on. It's gonna be an awesome night and I really, really would love and it would be dear to my heart for you guys to show up, come out, have a good time, and let me show you what I've been working on and all these amazing other artists that are gonna be on stage with me show you what they've been working on. Thanks for bearing with me through this video, but I appreciate it. Change is bound to happen sooner or later. I had to make a change and I feel very good about it. I hope that people show up to this event, show y'all some new music, and I hope that everybody continues to support and like what I put out next. Thank you so much. From the bottom of my heart, Tonto Mafia, I love you guys. Peace out.